Yep, it's Grizzbait, Traction Erag's most scenic ride, but also the most dangerous. Grizzly bears love maple syrup, so we put maple syrup on all the riders. So you don't have to be first, huh, but you definitely don't want to be the last rider. Our ride each day starts at the base of a mountain. Then we dodge grizzlies as we climb into the spectacular alpine terrain. For 2018, we had riders from Bulgaria, South Africa, the United Kingdom, and of course, Australia. And naturally, quite a few riders crossed over the USA border before the proposed wall gets built. So Stu, you're actually from the US. How does it feel to be wearing the Canadian flag? Oh, it's all good. You can't, you won't get shot for this sort of thing? No, it's a global economy now. <laughs> I love your attitude. We even had Megs Brap along for this ride, although she always seemed to be rushing off somewhere. Great to see more girls coming along every year, especially Tammy, a very experienced rider who tackled everything we could throw at her. Hey there, I want to thank Traction Ereg for this amazing trip, Grizzbait 2018. I ride dirt bikes because it makes me feel alive. Um, at the end of the day, when you're feeling uh, a lot of pain, that's just a reminder. The Aussies, not so chatty. Grizzbait's hardcore. You should come. <laughs> Unlike the Brits. I have had the most fantastic week of my life. I've learned to do things, taught by the great himself, Harry Morris. But more importantly, I got pushed today on a really brilliant ride, Red Rose, and it was hardcore. But we got to the top and it was the most fantastic thing I've ever done. And that's it. No, that really is it. No, that's fucking it. <laughs> The wide angle of the action cam fails to capture the incredible scenery accurately. But we were lucky enough to have a professional drone operator along, Davin Jones, who volunteered to provide some drone footage which does show the true beauty of the Canadian Rockies. These volunteers are massively appreciated because of the logistics of running these trips. Some years they run at a loss. True was another volunteer, a professional photographer who came along to take some very cool snapshots like this one of a Gumby jumping in the air, who was probably surprised by a vicious marmot. And we can't thank the local riders enough who volunteered as guides, sweep riders and assistants to show us their riding areas. Thanks guys.